What's up guys? Uh, bought a digital caliper yesterday and uh, through messing with it I found probably one of the most uh, accurate ways to to measure edge angles uh, that I've ever had before. Um, pretty much in math uh, you can calculate the the angle of a triangle uh, sine cosine tangent with given that you have the information that you need which is the length of all three sides of the triangle um, when we're looking at a knife uh, from this perspective so you're looking at it like this down the edge the edge is essentially just a triangle with uh, three different lengths uh, imagine imagine that uh, this is a side of the triangle this is a side of the triangle and then the line the imaginary line which is actually the thickness of the edge is the last side of the triangle so we can in a jeez i need to slow down we can can in essence figure out the exact angle of this edge uh using those three measurements uh using a digital caliper and that's what i'm going to do now i'm just going to do a couple knives and give you the results and show you how accurate it can be. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, measure the left side of the triangle and I have my digital caliper set to millimeters. I'm going to hook the edge with one tooth and then close the, the teeth until there is no more gap. So I'm at the top of the bevel. Don't need to pull off of the edge. That's a good way to ruin it. Okay, so I'm at like 0.1. Sorry, this is a weird camera angle, so you're going to have to bear with me. It's hard to do this through the camera. All right, right there at the border, I'm 0.135, or 1.35. Let's just write that down. 1.35. Next, we're going to measure the actual... Uh, going to measure the actual thickness of the edge down at the uh, at the edge so we're essentially just measuring the thickness of the blade where the edge bevels start so we're going to line up the teeth with the edge bevels we're going to take our measurement we're reading 0 0.95 0 0.95 going to measure the other side and then that's the last measurement we have to take hook the edge close to where the end of the edge bevel 1.28 1.28 okay so now we're done with the knife we're done with the caliper we have our measurements that we wrote down you can barely see them so I'm now going to plug those into the computer and uh, tell you what the edge angle is. I just googled uh, solving triangle, something like that. 1.35 the bottom side 0.98 right side 1.28 hit compute we have an edge angle of 44 degrees which I would say is pretty much what around what I had guessed uh, a little bit thicker than 40 degrees so that's a pretty pretty accurate way of measuring the uh, edge angle so uh, I'm not going to draw this out um, no no reason to just wanted to show you guys that there's a pretty quick way to solve uh, to solve the problem for edge angles if you've ever guessed what your edge angle is Get yourself a digital caliper, uh, measure out the three sides of your triangle, and compute it, and that'll give you your your uh, accurate edge angle. So, anyway, hope this helps. Uh, I think I'm gonna add this data to my cutting tests, and uh, everything after that, I'll give you the thickness of the edge, uh, the thickness of the blade right behind the edge, and the actual edge angle because. 
a lot of times cutting performance is not just the thickness of the edge or the uh, the geometry of the edge it's actually the thickness of the metal right behind the edge just behind the edge so given that this hinderer has the same geometry as the uh, the ZT this is 1.11 millimeters behind the edge uh, the ZT is 0.93 or 0.91 behind the edge. Uh, given that these both had exact geometries, which they don't, but just for our purposes, say they do, this one would cut better than this. But that's such uh, a minimal difference that I doubt we would be able to tell a difference. But if it's something something like 1.3 millimeters versus uh, this, which is like 0.5 millimeters behind the cutting edge, uh, then you would feel a noticeable difference. So, anyway, that's how to measure your edge angle. Pretty much the most accurate way to do it. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.